Hey guys and gals, this is Hollow Dragon with Fallout 4 again, and as you can tell, we are in a completely different spot. Though we still have Strong, and he's gotten a gear upgrade, which is nice, because... Yeah, he was kind of naked there for a little bit, and had absolutely no armor. Um, but yeah, we did some Minutemen quests, saved a few places. We're gonna test the thing that I read, that were some, like, cheats. That apparently, if you leave these quests alone long enough, after completing them... Uh... If you get a Minuteman quest and you finish it up to the point where it says talk to Preston, if you leave it for a few days, it will be like, oh, you've completed it and turn it in. You don't have to risk, you know, going to go talk to him and getting another quest and then running away like a fiend in hopes that you were quick enough. Um, also, we did get a, a poke. It was like, hey, hey, hey you, go check, go check, uh, to go check on Virgil. But since Strong is radioactive retardant, last time I checked, and I'm not, we're gonna, we're gonna go to Sanctuary really quick, and we're gonna grab one of the suits of armor, because even though I'm just gonna be out for like a few seconds, a minute at the most, I really don't want to be standing out there, naked. Just, you know, flapping in the breeze. Take What's up? Care of yourself, dear. So, a quick cop under the suit. Right. Get oogled by all the friends. And hit that. Go check on Virgil. Wow, well, I see the uh, head of black hair. Yeah, he's still at an institute suit somewhere. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. I'd say so. This is a qualified success? There were some side effects to the process. I seem to have hair again, and I've retained some muscle mass. The genetic resequencer needs more work. Still, I take your point. This is a significant advance, but only for one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Wait, you want to make more? Turn more super mutant human? Ultimately, Yes. No. No more. Super mutants not want to be human. You not change me. You not change anyone. Calm down, Strong. No one's gonna try to turn you into a human. It may not even work. This is all highly experimental, and certainly my lab equipment is uh, less than optimal. In any event, you're welcome to make use of my lab. Or help yourself to any of this junk if you want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. Oh yeah, this is... Okay, so this was his bed because now it's a lot smaller. Yeah, well, you're different, Strong. Protect and serve. Super mute bracers. Don't really need the meat. Bone cutter. Bone storm. Sorry, I'm rather busy right now. Yeah, and no one's talking to you either, so you know. Nice. Very nice. And for some reason, that art style makes me think of Akira. And I can't... Just can't quite think of as to why. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Such as it is. 
I kind of hope that he had like a power core laying around here somewhere. But he doesn't. Went further and further down that hole. Hey. Strong can carry for you. He is the most willing and eager to do such things. And he cute. We're gonna put him in that cap, and it's gonna be fun. Yeah, I did try and put him in his dress, if you remember correctly. beast pretty super when everyone's super no one will be hey I don't know do we want to go visit the children of Adam not really I I don't so we're gonna go Talk to the fusion first, and then we'll go talk to Dr. Lai. Lee? Lai? I don't know. Um, but first, we are going to go get out of our suit. I'll see you guys when I get back. Alright. Nice, shiny, white institute. Let's see, who's where? first. So we can, let's see, Dr. Lai, she's up, they're both up, but one's through a door, one's just straight up. So we're going to try and find her first. I'm assuming Dr. Lai, Lee, Dr. I can't remember how to pronounce her name, is actually in her office. Mm -hmm. She is Well, we're about to wake him up Especially they got a thing of jet Sitting right above their bed These pictures of Things like you guys Aren't ever going to see that Wow, they even got a sun. Get up, chickadee. She gets out of bed a little bit like I do. Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. What the hell is this operation about? Hey, relax. We wouldn't send you off without the proper information. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. Yeah, that, that, I, what the hell is that? It's a beryllium agitator? The details would be lost on you. No offense. The point is, it'll allow us to boost the reactor's power and get it running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll worry about the agitator. That complicates things. No way. You're not going. You'd be a liability. Well, that's about the most insulting thing I've heard in a while. Oh, okay, shut up. You're on your own, then. Good luck. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. 
We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and they'll get you over to mass fusion in a flash. Pun sort of intended. Yeah, you guys call me stupid and then you want to go? The freak nuts is wrong with you. Yeah. Forgot, not in the suit. Yep, I forgot. I've been in it, I've been in it for most of the game, if you guys remember. It's a little hard to remember sometimes. Squirrel bits. Give me the bits. Only the bits. New Steven Universe today. It's his birthday, if I remember correctly. It's a lot of people's birthday, if I remember correctly, as well. Still have not spent that point. I keep forgetting to spend that point. Yeah, I'm not going to pass up. I didn't really want that, but whatever. A clean and healthy work environment is essential to maximum productivity. Your insides are showing. Do you know that? Like, is that okay with you? Like, is it fine that you're running around with... Uh, your insides hanging out. I wonder if it bothers him. I wonder if it bothers him that I just did that. Dr. Lee. You again. Lee. What do you want now? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. You're the scientist. Why do you think I'm here? Well, let's see... A Brotherhood of Steel airship arrives in the Commonwealth. You find a way to intercept our teleport signal, and now you show up at my door. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Yeah, why would I kill you? Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though Lions let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think, being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known so would be enough. Worked. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? You're wasting your time working for the Institute. <laughs> oh, wait a second. You're asking me to rejoin them, aren't you? Why the hell would they want me back? Dicks if I really know. Dicks if I really care. Dicks for everyone! Brotherhood values you. That's a fat load of crap. Working for the enemy, that would be more like them, but not more like me. Brotherhood having problems, What's truth. The silent treatment? Thinking, thinking, people thinking. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. Because he's an idiot. Take your word for it. I need more than that. We don't lie. I don't lie. 
Mm, I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> uh. I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right, I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here, a Dr. Virgil. Yeah, Several months we just ago, cured him. An accident in his lab, and he was killed. No, he wasn't. I wanted to help with the investigation, but father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contained. Broke that. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like father was deflecting my questions. Because he was. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? Yep. Uh... I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I, I met him myself. Oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that to is make weak Jim stronger? Stop trying to avoid the legwork <laughs> by lying. Either you get me the evidence, or we have nothing else to talk about. But you he know? is still. <laughs> I already have something that might convince you. How did you... Never mind. Just let me see what you've got. How do I know you'll honor our agreement? I never promised I'd return to the Brotherhood. I said I would consider it. You're just going to have to trust me. If the Brotherhood didn't, they wouldn't have risked sending you to find me in the first place. Now hand it over. Here you go. A holotape. This better not be a waste of my time. I told you the fool was alive and you blew it off in my face. Screw you. This is day eight of trial six. The last week has been very productive but exhausting. I know what I'm about to do. I think we'll need a break after this. Treason. Binet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. I have a plan. And if it well, works, I'll be somewhere safe. Too good. Somewhere not even the The responses map behind. almost identically they to expectations. Some lied to me. Like I've seen. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. Really. Sean, All those years of loyalty. Are in there. For nothing. That, even now, would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been... Uh. In the moment once or twice. Is this enough to convince you? More than enough. I came to the Institute to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared. That they wanted to better mankind. Maybe in their own twisted way they still do. But now I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for, then it's all pointless. If they lied about Dr. Virgil, who knows what else they've been lying about? Or what their plans are for my work? I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Well, Max will be happy. for him. Uh... Relate, mesh, fusion, or from the... Well, we're gonna go be going in the same place anyway, so... We're just... We're just gonna... Okay, we're gonna go change strong out because I didn't. I kind of forgot that he was with me. And I'm not walking around the Brosties with strong. So, I'll be right back. Nick. Time to hit the road? Let's head out. Well, alright. You're leaving me for this circuit board? You bring her back in one piece, Nick. I can't promise there won't be some scuffs and dings. What I wouldn't give for a good stiff drink. Hey, let me ask you something. What? Sure, ask away. It's just, uh, 
with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I, I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Yeah. Yeah. Old me's dead, new me's in. Let's do this. Doesn't really matter. I'm here now. I've just got to deal with that. Good attitude to have. Not the way I felt. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. When security finally put enough holes in him to drop him, they say he was full of servos and sprockets, just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. Massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. <laughs> Turns out the guy was part of a gang <laughs> of kidnappers. <laughs> Didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home, and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going beep, beep, beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. Dorks. Was it hard settling in? Yeah, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? That's how I tell it, man. So we're going to try a thing. Ah, damn it to hell. We're going to try a thing. 
Um, apparently, if you... Uh, don't specify where a person needs to go, they will go back to where they started from. If I can just find Kate, which of course I lost her again, because I was listening to Nick. You see a lot of folks at their worst in my life. <sighs> Hard to not let it get to you. Course. Lead the way, Mum. Don't let this one boss you around too much, Codsworth. There's nothing I'd like more, Mr. Valentine. Okay. Let's rest a second. Ready to head back out? Ready. Good. Then let's get moving. Ah, Miss Kate. So good of you to agree to take my place. May fortune favor the brave, my dear. You're beginning to get me nerves, Codsey. Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a So, we're back with Kate, and as far as I can tell, once you send them to a settlement, you can't send them back, at least as far as I can tell. I may be wrong, but, yeah. Proctor Ingram, the Institute wants me to get something called a beryllium agitator from the ruins of mass fusion. A beryllium agitator? I seem to remember reading an old technical document in those once, but I only thought they were theoretical. It must be pretty darn important if they're sending you to find one. Hmm. You know, if we head over to Mass Fusion right now, we may be able to get the device before the Institute does. That's if you don't mind the company, of course. You sure it's a good idea to take Miss Nanny here with us? She's an older version of you. It's your funeral. Well, with a big bad soldier like you watching my back, that's not gonna happen now, is it? Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. This could be our best chance at beating the Institute to the punch. She reminds me of an older version of Kate. Just, like, I can't... It's just a thing. She just does. Alright, that's what I was gonna do. Oh yeah, I got rid of most of my grenades. Most of everything else is... don't we? Uh, quest. It's weird for him not to be down here. Attention. Tomorrow's tactical briefing has been postponed. A new time and date will be forthcoming. Entire time I've never seen him in his room. Elder Maxson? I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be?
Will she be harmed if she doesn't cooperate? Absolutely not. We have big plans for Dr. Lee, including the resurrection of one of her greatest creations. The last thing we'd want to do is kill the Golden Goose. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, on to other matters. Thanks to the success of your reconnaissance efforts, it's time to advance our operations to the next phase. I want you to report to Proctor Ingram at the airport. She has a special project that requires your immediate attention. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed. I already reported to... Okay, whatever. Dr. Ingram. Hope you're geared up. Otherwise, this is going to be a short trip. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go grab some armor real quick for Kate, since she can walk around without. Actually, screw it. We're just going to go get armor for both of us, and we'll be right back. Alright, so we got decked. Yeah, one of my legs is still kind of screwed up, but, uh, whatever. Um. Yep, let's go ahead and do this. We got this. Roger that, scabbard. We have clearance for release. You might want to hang on, sir. The drop can be a little rough. Never could get used to flying in these things. I feel like we might end up having to kill everybody. Do I feel bad about that? No, I don't. Thought about it. Stretched over it. I, I don't feel bad. Like, it... I mean, like... Use me as a guinea pig. They get insulted when I insult them back. It's just like I just. Hostile target sighted on the roof, sir. Prepare to engage. Yeah, you think I'm just gonna, like, let that fly? Hell no. Yeah, this part is getting a little on the jerky side. Synths are a lot harder to hit than, uh... Come 
in the Saints tits, Kate. Getting down that way. Looks like the elevator needs some kind of a key card. Yeah, they always need a card, and we know how much my luck is with cards. It's it's great. It's awesome. It's Miss United States. Alright, um. up there because we're not really finding anything down here and I've got two redheads following me I truly oh there you go Agitator anywhere. It must have been moved. Let's check out that terminal over there. Password? Intramail. You've got mail. As per your inquis inquisition. No one expects the inquisition. Instructions, the agitator has been installed in our primary reactor on sub-level 1. I have also increased security on all the key readers in the building, so you'll need your executive key card handy if you want to use any of the elevators. I'd like to go on official record that I am opposed to accelerating the project's schedule. I find it disturbing that current events hasn't... Uh, ergo, global upset, unrest, whatever, same word, uh, hasn't had an effect on your decision while I... Realize your recent contact with the U.S. military it may be making it difficult to follow a rational course of action. I strongly urge you to reconsider. I thought this is exactly why you left beside Carl. But Carl, that kills people! I have been monitoring the reactor for weeks now, and the agitator is running at peak efficiency. In fact, I've only detected an EM spectrum decay of less than a thousandth of a percent. If you were hoping for a stable plasma reactor, it looks like you found it. Congratulations. Perhaps you and the military should open a bottle of champagne. Someone sounds a little salty. As of this morning, Dr. Noel... Uh... Shandrich? Uh, was escorted from... Oh, wrong button. Escorted from the building in his contract... 
contract with Mass Fusion has been terminated. His terminal's memory has been wiped, and all of his research transferred to our mainframe. Doctor Shandrich uh, has made aware has been made aware that any attempt to seek employment at the rival nuclear power company will result in a lawsuit. As per his contract, his pension and benefits are now frozen. If there's anything else you need from HR, please let me know. Well, that is dick shits. Hope he did something very terrible to have all that happen. All employees are invited to the 2077 holiday celebration. We'll be holding the festivities on the roof of our main headquarters this year, so you'll be able to dine with a loved one while overlooking our beloved city. Beautiful city. A full bar and a live music will be on hand, as well as a special fireworks display at 10 p.m. Hope to see you there. Yep. Either... Calm down, Noel. You knew that this was coming. I don't understand why you're acting this way. Don't tell me to calm down, Carl. When we started designing the beryllium agitator, you said it would be for the benefit of mankind. Instead... I find out that you have been planning on turning it over to the military all along. You lied to me. You lied to me. Don't give me that high and mighty attitude. Have you picked up a newspaper lately? There's a war going on out there, Doctor. And if our side's going to win, it needs all the help it can Sweet. get. I can't That's believe That's enough. That. Since when did science start taking sides? Like it or not. When the testing cycle is completed, I'm crating up the agitator and sending it off to Washington. Now, you have two choices. Either you can get back to work, or you can get the hell out of my building. A little concerned about what that giant sound was, but whatever. Cause she just makes me think, like I said, of an older version of Kate. She can take care of herself, she kicks ass, she, 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 obviously it takes a lot more than a few bumps and bruises to take her down considering she's missing both her legs after something like that. That would have killed me. My little silly ass would have died. I would have just fallen over and been dead. Dead, 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 dead. But she just gets a power suit skeleton and just keeps going. The hell. All aboard, he's going, going ashore. Going down. Or just let me go down by myself. Whichever one. It all works the same, right? white streak in her hair. That's so wrong. Did I just shoot a dead arm? Detonating explosive charge. Explosive charge. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Now? Oh, son of a whore. You know how to show a girl a good time. 
<laughs> yeah, totally. Watch me go. Not sure what that ticking is, but all right. Uh, Kathy, I just wanted to let you know that your work on the agitator has been invi invaluable. The shielding has always been a problem, but the use of the graphene in the alloy has a stroke of genius. I uh, just want to let you know that I'll be recommending you for promotion. Uh, Kathy, wouldn't it be possible for you to get a full sheet of your composite alloy within the next week? Carl's pressuring me to get the agitator online by the end of the month, and or heads are going to roll. If you run into any problems, let me know. Fast. Uh, your miracle worker, Kathy. The graphene, graphene, graphene uh, composite shielding was the late, last component holding back from getting the agitator online, and you got it done in less than a week. I don't know how I could have done this without you. Another job well done. Keep this up, and you'll be development lead in no time. also means that other things are also back online. I just thought of that. Yep. Okay. Look alive. Need something? No way I can pick this. Think you can unlock that? I'm on it, Captain. Yeah. This one might be a problem, but I can try. Come on, girl. I know you got it. What the hell's wrong with me? Thinking too hard. Stop thinking so hard. You got this. Stupid lock. Nope. Not gonna happen. Ah, come on. Lock's really strong. Need something? See what you I hate that whistle. I don't I'm not gonna be whistling at my wife, yo. Let me give it a shot. Kate, Kate. Kate, come on, Kate, you can do it. What the hell's wrong with me? Oh, for the love of stupid lock. There you go. Nothing to it. Oh, so she's better than getting pissed is picking a fight. Am I right? Why bother with that? You open in a museum or something? Yep. Oh, and almost fell down that hole. No one saw that. Nope. Not a soul. Nope. No one saw that. Mind if I do? Alright. I don't know what that clicking is. I don't care. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hey, what is it? Go check that out. Will do. On the wrong level. This isn't the easiest lock I've ever seen. Well, me, you pr you see a lot of locks, don't you, Kate? Damn, this lock's pissing me off. Damn, broke a pin. I'll try again. Not like we ain't got more.
someone's hand. Not sure whose hand that is, but it ain't ours. Hey, what you need? Check it out. No problem. I'll give this one a try, but I'm not making any promises. Come on, you got this. You normally do it in two tries, anyways. Shite. Almost had it that time. I mean, I've seen you open master locks on the first try. Got it. Always drop through here. Might not be as cushy as an elevator ride, but at least we'll be headed in the right direction. Truth. And we are in some very badass power armor. Oh. oh. Not what I meant to do. Shoddy. So going down. Bones just a detected. Curious. Hostile sets you must die now. Human. Yeah, because I really just don't want to have to walk all the way through all this crap again. I think they're trying to find a way down. I guess. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. I recommend against hostile action. Are you attempting an ambush? Mm. Overactive sensors. Nothing more. Hope I landed on one. That would have been pretty funny if I did. Just like squished him under my car. <laughs> Your 
keep saying that, I don't think that means what you think that means. Seriously lost those two. Uh, Mass Fusion employee store is now open. Order your very own Mass Fusion branded hats, shirts, sh shorts, swim shirts, swimsuits, umbrellas, neckties, cufflinks, socks, tumblers, shot glasses, coffee mugs, and more. Please see Eric Ronecki in HR. Uh, due to the unfortunate sit-in protest in the main lobby for members of the public, new security measures are being implemented immediately. Please be sure to carry your ID card on you at all times and stay within your designated areas. Do not exit the building using any ID any door other than those designated as standard exits. Do not provide anyone with your login passwords or use your own terminal. Use of your own terminal. Any Deviation from these restrictions will result in immediate termination from your position at Mass Fusion. All employees are invited, and you all die. Got it. Okay. That wasn't anything new or special. Gunners have been down here. I don't think it ended very well for them, just saying. That seems to be connected to something. It's connected to them. Actually, you know what? No, we're not even going to bother with that. They're just going to have to catch up or something. See? Told you they'd catch up. Kate's better at catching up than Hancock definitely is. Alright, Ingram. Out. Move it. Move it, soldier. There it is. Mass Fusion's reactor. Don't make them like that anymore. No kidding. Who's left to build them? Eh. Truth. Definitely not me. That's for certainties. Advanced, and I'm doing that. I go into like places like this where I'm not 100% sure what is going to be at the end of that hallway. I suddenly start hearing, um. Um, the something is about to happen music from, uh, oh man, what is it? Uh, 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 uh. oh shoot, from, uh, X-Files, there we go, that weird trickling the wrong way, nerves tingling sort of sound. not good that that's red something is going to come out of that that I'm probably not going to want to like uh, not going to want to have come out pretty water effects Ingram looks pretty dangerous in there you have enough radiation protection on you yep yeah yeah, I've got it covered. Well, take these extra doses of Radex anyway. Can't hurt. You know, this was a nuclear research facility. If you look around, I'm sure you can find something that'll do the trick. Yep, fully covered. Hey, sure, sure. Just keep your shirt well. Hey there, beautiful. <laughs> Fetching him bits of junk. 
This better be leading to something worthwhile. She is not happy with him. Your thoughts? Enough of this slog. Just point us to the nearest watering hole. That was it. No problem. She's not very happy with him radiation running me everywhere. Radiation levels are dangerously high in there. Let me know if you need any radiation protection. Really? I'll communicate with you through their intercom system while I monitor everything from out here. Let us know if things start dropping off of you. Thanks, Bay. Thanks. I might try getting into that. Or is that just eh, it's just a turn in for that? Can you wear a hazmat suit under the armor or no? Need your expertise. I'll get it done. All right. Well, I don't know if I while we try and get her to open that, try. we're gonna take a moment and stop right here, cause something big is gonna happen. Daddy, Obviously, there's a giant me. reactor thing agitator uh, so out fast. there. So yeah, uh, a little concerned about that. So we're gonna pause right here. Thanks for watching me play Fallout 4. Hope you guys come back for the next time. Um, as always, it's been Hobble Dragon. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment. See you guys later.